let's have now the constant of variation for direct and inverse variation. The constant is denoted by k. So the k in each equation is the constant. So here, the question is how are we going to solve or identify the constant of variation? So if we have here direct variation, so y is equal to kx. So in order for us to solve or to get the constant, so we have to divide the two variables. So ito po yung ating um, keyword para malaman natin kung ano yung gagawin natin. So if we are looking for the constant of variation for direct, so all we have to do is to divide. So we have to divide the two values in the given. So here, if we have y is equal to kx, so the formula for the constant of variation is k is equal to y over x. So take note po, hindi po laging y over x yung um, given na formula for the constant. So baka mamaya pag may nakita kayong x at saka y value and then direct variation yun, ang gawin nyo lagi ay y divided by x. So hindi po laging ganun. So may mga time na pwedeng k is equal to x over y. So, pwede rin po yan. So, later on, I'm going to explain kung kailan natin gagamitin yung y over x at saka x over y. So, for inverse variation, so we have here the equation y is equal to k over x. So, for the constant of variation, so the operation to be used for us to get the value of the constant is multiply. So, again, let's compare. So, kapag direct variation, hinahanap yung constant, so we're going to divide. Inverse variation, so hinahanap yung constant, so we have to multiply. So, we're going to multiply the two values. So, here, we have the formula k is equal to xy, so multiply. So, here we have k is equal to y over x for direct, so we have to divide. Okay, now, so let's have an example. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung pagkuha ng constant of variation. So, let's have number one. If y varies directly as x and y is equal to 36 when x is equal to 4, what is the constant of variation? The first thing we need to do is to identify if the given statement or situation is direct or inverse variation. Kasi once na nalaman natin na direct or inverse yung variation, so we will also decide if we are going to divide the two values if the given is direct or if we're going to multiply the two values if the given is inverse variation. So for number one, so the keyword here is directly. So of course, our given in number one is direct variation. Okay, so let's go back to the topic. So kapag ang given situation ay direct variation, so in order for us to get the constant, so what is the constant of variation? So we have to divide. So meron lang tayong konting concern about um, dividing. Kasi in dividing, hindi pwede magkabaliktad. So we have here y is equal to 36 and then x is equal to 4. So, we can use the formula k is equal to y over x. Ngayon ang tanong. So, paano tayo nakapag-decide na ang formula is k is equal to y over x? Bakit hindi natin ginawang k is equal to x over y? So, um, just to cut it short para mabigyan ko kayo ng tip. So, if you're going to analyze, yung statement natin ay y varies directly as x. So, nauna yung y. So, ang technique dyan, kapag nauna yung y at hinahanap natin ay constant, kung ano yung naunang binanggit na variable dito, so for this one, it's y. So, yun din yung mapupunta sa ibabaw. And then, kung ano yung pangalawang binanggit, yun yung mapupunta sa ilalim. So, that's why here we decided, so if y varies directly as x, so, kaya ang ginawa natin, k is equal to y over x instead of x over y. 
So, nakuha po yun. Okay, next. So, we're going to substitute the value. So, the value of y is 36 and the value of x is 4. So, we're just going to simplify. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Therefore, the value of k here is equal to 9. The constant is 9. Well, mas madali rin naman kung um, actually, pwede rin naman na kahit i-mental na lang yan. So, madali lang naman. So, we have here 36 divided by 4. So, that is 9. So, that is the constant. So, ang concern lang natin dito kapag direct. So, dapat alam natin kung ano yung magiging dividend at saka divisor. Kasi baka mamay may magkabaliktad, maging 4 divided by 36. So, mali po yun. So, here, 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. So, that is our constant. So, next, number 2. If x varies directly as the square of y and x is equal to 48, when y is equal to 4, find the constant of variation. Okay, here. So, ang nauna dito ay, okay, so bago natin um, isolve yung constant, we have to identify kung ano yung given statement, direct or inverse. So, based on our statement, so that is direct variation. Now, so we're going to have a little um, concern here in terms of the statement dahil meron tayong word na square. So again, direct variation, to get the constant, we have to divide. So we have here 48 and 4. But hindi natin pwedeng i-divide yung 48 by 4 agad-agad. Kasi we have here the square. So what we're going to do here is to write the formula for the constant. So k is equal to, so we have to divide, right? Pero ano kaya ang mapupunta sa ibabaw? Is it the x or y? So the first one, so ang unang binanggit dito ay x, if x varies directly as the square of y, so x ang unang nabanggit, therefore, ang nasa ibabaw o numerator natin ay yung x. And then over y squared. So bakit may squared? Because of the statement, x varies directly as the square of y. So we have k is equal to x over y squared for the formula of the constant. So the next thing we need to do here is to um, substitute the value. Ang x ay 48 and then ang y ay 4 and then don't forget to put the squared. So next, we have to simplify the denominator. So we have 48 over, so 4 squared is 16. And then simplify more, 48 divided by 16 is 3. So therefore, the value of k in item number 2 is 3. Okay, next. Number 3. We have if m varies inversely as n and m is equal to 9, when n is equal to 15, find the constant of variation. So again, first thing we need to do is to identify if the given is direct or inverse. So here, the given is inverse variation. Ang kanina, ang given natin ay direct. So, in order for us to get the constant, we divide. But this time, ang given ay inverse variation. So, in order for us to get the constant, we have to multiply. Ngayon, kapag inverse variation, so we don't have any concern kung magkabaliktad. X times Y, Y times X. Kasi uh, it will not change the value. So, x times y is the same with y times x. So, here in inverse variation, so we don't have any concern. Okay, so here, let's write the formula. k is equal to m times n. Then, all we have to do is to substitute the value. k 
is equal to ang m ay 9 and then ang n ay 15 then multiply the two values 9 times 15 is so k is equal to 135 so that is our answer so the constant for item number 3 is 135 or simply pwede namang kahit wala ng solution na ganito so you can the uh, you can just directly multiply 9 times 15 is 135 okay next so number 4 if d varies inversely as the cube of e and d is equal to 7 when e is equal to 2 find the constant of variation so again identify so this one is inverse variation, so we have to multiply to get the constant. And here we also have cube. So the first thing we need to do is to write the formula. So inverse variation, so this will be multiplication. So we have D times E cube because of the given statement. So, D varies inversely as the cube of E. So, that's why we have the formula K is equal to D E cube. So, next is to replace the values. So, the value of D is 7. The value of E is 2. Then, raised to 3. So, the first thing we need to do here is to simplify 2 cube. Depending 7 times 2. So, mali po yun. So, we have to um, simplify first the exponent. So, we have here 7. So, what is 2 cube? So, when we say 2 cube, so multiply 2 by itself 3 times. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Then times 2. So, we have 8. So, 7 times 8. And that will be equal to 56. So therefore, the value of k here is 56. So that is how we compute or solve for the constant of variation. So let's have a short recap. So if the given is direct variation, so in order for us to solve for the constant, so we have to divide. Direct variation, constant, we have to divide. For inverse variation, so inverse variation, looking for constant, so we have to multiply. So don't forget that.